everyone blue asterism solstice i am still getting used to that name most mainly because i haven't had to say it much and that is mostly a fault of the case of um i keep wanting to do like other videos and that but it's like once i actually get to them it's just like i kind of like um i kind of turned them down myself there's a lot of things i want to like talk about or do and i'm just always like uh Nah, that's not that good of a video, right? <laughs> or I could always do better or something. Or maybe it's turning out a little too long. I always get like little like um side drags like that. But today I wanted to do something that looked a little fun to me. An Elden Ring Geo Guesser. I particularly am quite fond of um Elden Ring. I've spent like seven hundred hours into it. <laughs> So I have quite the time sink into it, and um, it has a very distinct map, and usually I can tell really, really well where I am in it. Although, if you ask me to name most of the places, that, the thing I will not be able to tell you too well is um, the name of most uh, grace sites. Otherwise, most general regions I could tell you quite a bit about as well as especially the um, enemy placements and uh, a lot of items you can find. Although I'm sure there's still quite a few things I'm yet to actually um, grab or come across. Although I have seen... <laughs> I was uh, doing this earlier, sort of like trying it out a couple times. I thought I seen an item I probably did actually miss, but actually contemplating it and looking at it. I feel like I probably didn't actually miss it. I, if anything, I probably seen wolves there, and that was um, probably a less important item. And I was like, you know, I don't think I actually missed this. <laughs> but yeah, something I am gonna do though is I'm gonna turn move off, which, by the way, is totally mistakes. <laughs> but uh, without um, getting too boring on this subject. Just to better like demonstrate how genuinely like fun and interesting to me the map is that the game offers. I want to say let's just sort of do it. Okay, what do you got, Caleb? What the? F Wait. Wait a minute. Why am I? Up in the sky? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Why am I up in the sky? <laughs> but this does seem like it's vaguely about here, right? What happens if I own? Um, Okay, so it's about here. <laughs> Let's just see if that somehow fixes it. A few of these turned out really goofy, I gotta tell ya. I've had times where I've got placed inside of a literal um, object or two. Caleb again, this looks to be towards the southern portion of it. I want to lean towards over this way. But I'm not 100% sure where yet. Having um, movement turned off is certainly quite the perspective of trying to understand and navigate. So yeah, okay. At least that's accurate enough. Don't directly see ruins. So that has me hesitant. Hmm. To be honest, that's still pretty on par with what I was um kind of expecting on this one. All right. 
right, scale it again. This is the northern portion on the west side still. In fact, I want to say it's like over here. It's kind of close to those ruins. It's interesting as I can see enemies around me. Now, something I've kind of noticed is that you can sometimes see the bodies of things here. But it looks like, judging by that, I am somewhere like over here. If slightly south. <laughs> Uh, my first click was closer, I think. That's still pretty rough. Some of those sections of Caleb and Altus are particularly rough. Okay, outside that gate of Altus Plateau, specifically just outside of um here. It's like around this general vicinity. Might even be reassuring to assume a little more like that. Speaking of, oh wait, two of them next to each other. Is there another one? Yes. So it's like right here. In fact. Bam. Now on top of the giants, and this could not be the most idealistic landmark possible. And then someone said, yes, make the giant a landmark. Absolutely. That would not make it too easy at all. So you're on like the other side of this. How close am I to whatever else? Not very, so it's about here. What? Oh, there's another one. No. Wait, is that actually his ankle? I guess I don't really understand what his um, placement angle was, because to me, um, the angle looked like that, with him actually facing that direction. Hmm. That is not my fault. It's um, too similar. Limgrave, and I believe that. Something like over here. Let's just, uh, yeah. 12 meters. Okay. Caleb. Actually, reasonably close to the Dragon Barrow, if not there. Oh, wait. The ruins. This is just north of the... Wait. That's north. So the ruins are to the north? Well, I gotta go up there. There's only really one area with ruins. And that's generally like around here. To the north though? Oh, it's probably like over here. 
Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I believe... Oh, it could be... Oh, I just realized. Those ruins. The one overlooked by the thing. I was certain I was looking at the road. I was so certain. Oh, gosh. That's why I was so certain. And I wasn't actually paying attention to what direction that road was going. Lyurnia of the Lakes. Facing west, that is the Minor Erd Tree. If the Minor Erd Tree is west, it's somewhere around here. Here, I believe, but more importantly, that's okay. So, yeah, that kind of checks out. In fact, so does that. In fact, let's just do this. I'm not terribly far away, although, hmm. So it's further southeast, okay. I wasn't gonna actually be able to fine tune it that well. Lyurnia well, is a really broad spectrum of mess. I have a rough idea where this is. It is around this area. But um, how far in is this area? I want to say it's down here. How close far-ish? is down here. I really wish I could make out these buildings in this spot. I guess probably a little closer this way. Wait, is that a road? Oh, that's the road. That's not the edge. That's a road. That's why it confuses me. Okay. If I realized that sooner, I could have done better. Found that. I thought it was a lot closer. It's hard to interpret some of this. Kaled. Northern Kaled. Um, okay, that looks easy enough to find. It's relatively... Oh god. Um, how far? far under you am I? I'm actually around the edge, aren't I? Yeah, that looks pretty accurate. Oh. Over there? Oh. Okay. I mean, that's still pretty reasonable. It's just hard to make that kind of a call when there's a tree there covering your map. Uh, Lyurnia, right? Yeah, it is Lyurnia. Northern Lyurnia. Wait, what? Oh yeah, there is a tree there, isn't there? Oh. Where is that big rock at? If I can better determine this rock, I'm going to be a lot more comfortable about this. Um, how co That's the rock I was looking for. Let's look in the 
You know, it's hard to judge some of that distances. I don't know how zoom is zoomed. <laughs> is this not that far from where I just was? Wait, no. This is far from where I just was. Where on God's green earth is this? Is this? Wait. I think. If I'm not mistaken, that's somewhere up here. Probably like over here more? I was certainly correct it was up there. There's not enough like um, unusual landmarks for me to make too good of a guess. So I was comfortable with just throwing that one. Limgrave? The village here has been touched by death. Thanks. Someone's going to know what that's um, from. That's uh, around here. Maybe a little more over here. Oh, hello. Oh, goodness. There. Ish. Ish. Maybe a little closer there. Bam. Wait, really? It didn't look like that to me, but okay. That's however the map interprets it. The Arnia. Yeah. That's um town, I think. Southwest. So I think it's like around here. Between west, southwest. Oh god, that's a difficult. Wait a minute. This is over here more. Yeah, I was right about it being on this side. I kept thinking to myself, where is this? It's like you would think you would just see a giant raised landmass. This is the frozen lake and the giants. It looks like it's closer to the tip of it. Or so I'd like to think. Closer like this. In fact, I want to say it's like right here. I was very, very close. Okay. Altus. Outside the castle. Uh huh. Seems like to spit me on this general vicinity often. When it comes to Altus, at least. Just around this general vicinity. Saying that's a interesting detail. Wait. Hmm. 
Wait a minute. Have I been ignoring a literal somewhere around there? Have I actually been missing a literal golden seed? Have I actually been missing a golden seed all this time? Where is it? It's gone. Or is that down there? Because I recognize there was a golden seed um, down there ish. Like deeper in towards the little minor tree, but I'm sorry, was that over this way? And it was actually missing one? Or am I misinterpreting what I was seeing? That was. Hmm, I need to check that out better. Maybe it, was, it could be just like the angle. Rhea Lucaria. Northern Rhea Lucaria. Northeastern Rhea Lucaria. Okay. It's around this general vicinity. Oh, so it is around here more. Okay. It's directly south. Okay, that does clear that enough. Over here more. Okay, directly west. It's probably a little south more. Previous click was good. The ever brilliant gold mask. <laughs> but no, I know exactly where this is. This is vaguely around. Here, you know, if I could physically tell, oh, down there more, no. This angle is not doing me favors. Okay, like a so deeper further in, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Ah, the trees. These trees are killing me. Um, Caleb, of course. That way is west. I'm coming to terms with that. I feel like it's along this road. But where along this road? That could be like Fort Gale? That's gotta be Fort Gale. That's Fort Gale. That's like over here more. Is that accurate? Is that accurate? Holy. That was actually pretty accurate. <laughs> this is really more of a guess. <laughs> Just like trying so. Ooh. It's a good thing I've seen those ruins there. But this part here is doing me more favors. 
This. Ugh, if I didn't do some of this before, I would really be struggling more. But this is around here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's say closer to here. Former Potom <gasps> Wait, probably around here. If I didn't see the structured stuff there, I would probably have been so far away. Oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty rough, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I did pretty good. That's awesome. Oh, but uh, you see why I was particularly excited about this when I saw this. I was like, oh, everything is actually very distinct and, and distinguished in that game. I love this idea. Let's check it out. But um, one of the big challenges of this is uh, you can get almost too close to objects and um, wherever you get your camera stuck into. In which case, you can very harshly get just screwed over. Which is very chaotic, by the way. <laughs> Especially when you cannot move, like, uh, just scooch over in the slightest. And sometimes you don't even know you're inside of a thing. Although I was pretty sure a different time I was inside of um, a ruins structure, but what I did not know when at the time when I was um, doing it a previous time is I was literally inside of, um, I wanna say it was inside of this or something like that. And that just absolutely confused me. <laughs> it was such a mess. I was horribly confused. I had no way to tell my exact um, position and orientation just because my view was just so messed up. So um, if you do try this at all, uh, don't feel bad if that's the case. It kind of happens. But otherwise, a lot of this is so distinguished, it's actually kind of fun to try to um, give it a shot. Now something that I am a little saddened about is that I'm yet to see it where it sticks you inside of um, a legacy dungeon, but at the same time I can see why it probably wouldn't. And uh, I'm almost thankful it doesn't ever make me trial and error the Volcano Manor. <laughs> Because, oh my god, would that be horrible for me to figure out? Like, I have literally um, little to no idea how to navigate that place. I don't know which way is uh, north, south, east, west once I'm in there. Like, all that just goes right out of my brain. <laughs> But um, a few visits, I'm sure I'll probably, um, if I'm actually like paying attention, paying attention, I can figure it out. But other than that, I usually have absolutely no idea. Otherwise, when I'm looking at this, I know this is that one goofy fort that has the prelate and the um, NPC spirit thing up top. That's like, <laughs> those wretched fools will never find me. Like, I can cite a lot of goofy little details like that, but um, there's all kinds of um, broad spectrum stuff that's just, it just completely eludes me. And this place is an absolute chaotic mess to navigate, to an extent. Like, I myself know, it, like, where a little of everything is in and out there. But if you tell me which direction it is, north, south, east, west, like cardinal directions, I have absolutely no idea when it comes to Volcano Manor. 
Otherwise, I usually have a very good idea. In fact, like IRL, real in real life, I have a pretty good sense of cardinal directions. Like right now, I can tell you, um, north is physically behind my back. North is physically behind my back. I don't even need to know that, and I can tell you that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how well I know my cardinal directions. <laughs> like, even if I have my um, little compass turned off and Elden Ring, like, uh, hiding my hut even, <laughs> I can tell you usually. Because I have to navigate the map and um, look around and kind of plan out carefully enough that I can usually tell you. Overall, I honestly thought this was pretty exciting. Like, I've spent um, actually quite a bit of time in the game, enough to um, piece together where a little of everything is. I found a little of like every of the more grand prize items in that, so it should come to me pretty well and like especially knowing what all the really big landmarks are that helps you uh, navigate some um, a little of the general how it's all put together now what gave this one away to me was not only realizing it was in Limgrave uh, not only realizing um hey there's a lake there but what dead gave it away for me was seeing the um, descending graves and also the pathway and I just immediately knew this is that narrow freaking little path that goes towards the Weeping Peninsula so that's where my brain went because I've used it so many times it would be weird if I didn't even recognize it at all and I've also like climbed up and down it like a good several times. Um, other challenges when it comes to doing stuff like this, when it comes to Liurnia, oh god, fine tuning a spot in Liurnia is quite a hassle, especially if it's like these areas with like the many, many trees. That's just like, oh god, which is it? <laughs> Because the trees themselves can obscure a lot of details, and that's also true with any other place is with like a ton of ton of trees. Um, when that's the case, all all you really can do is check your cardinal directions in this, and look for like the big landmarks and the relativity of um end of them, the center of them, to what kind of points of the of um central features of them. That's really the best you can do for a rough draft sort of um, guessing. But uh, this one doesn't even surprise me. I would have the distance, a sense of distance off. Like I'm still trying to learn what the relativity of the distances are in this thing. As so, well as um, from my player to the actual map itself, it's actually quite difficult to envision when you're running through it most of the time however it's easy to um, get a better feel for if you can make a jump or not but even then some of them they do look like you can make them but you actually cannot so there is that rough um, gray lining still even when you're playing the game uh, a previous time I did this I was actually like up to like here or something I not or like up to here or something and I seen this tower and I thought I was maybe like down here with like just the regular cliff -ing wall in my face or something looking at Solvis's tower <laughs> so there's lots of uh, goofy only a handful of similar things but under enough like careful observation you can like tell quite a few of them part actually but uh, what I should have been able to do is looking around enough to determine uh, which part the carrying manor itself is and what angle I am of it. So 
So it is like simple, honest little um, things you can kind of neglect that can give quite a bit away. For me, this part here, once it comes to like this lake or this general region of Altus, it gets incredibly difficult to navigate unless you can see some of the um, really distinguished landmarks like this uh, hero's grave site or like um, the graves in general or like a church or like a specific um, area of a church or something like um, if it was land CX's uh, little fight area I would have been able to find it just like so fast I would have been like this is over here I visited enough times and like map it out and find the gray sites outside of everything so it's like I usually do know this kind of stuff and it's quite a lot of fun for me so yeah it doesn't surprise me that there's still like little details that can really obscure and throw me off my game but this is like way way cool I am so happy someone actually like put some of this art together if anything I would really hope I could do more of like um comparing scores thing better I have to like look into that but uh thank you so much for watching as is uh winter solstice um you know blaster system solstice I'm still getting used to the name I'm not used to saying it yet. Now, some of you are probably wondering um, what that's about, actually. Why blue asterism solstice? Now, I've actually been making that motion towards it for quite a while, actually. In fact, as long as um, I've had the newer avatar with the, the blue asterism rock in it and the two hands, that's about how long I've been considering it. Although I've just been still in planning phases and coming to my own terms with that, really. But uh, you probably understand that now. So that's part of like what was like the real difficulties with that. There's other um, things worth mentioning. Like, um, so why blue asterism solstice? Why blue asterism even? So overall, I've been well. This is actually even before I was getting into like a more of a space stuff in general. Like um, in my own personal time, I would be watching a lot of space news videos and such. And it is um, a great idealistic, uh, symbolic thing even to take into consideration of the capture and like the almost daydreaminess even you could say of like what is the cosmos and such in the more brought down to earth feature like you could take it to that kind of comparison but um i guess what originally started the alluring to it alluring to it even if my correct pronunciation defines it as such is um yeah this actually pertains well to armored core now i am actually a very before i even got into like the souls games before i even played minecraft even before i played a ton of those games i was all about armored core i am so pumped about the upcoming game I am so unbelievably pumped. Oh my god, I want to do a video on that, but it's just like, is that a beaten to death dead horse? I don't know. <laughs> There's like so much I want to talk about it. Like the nerd in me just is just like, ah! <laughs> At the same time, it's like, I'm not like that overly nerdy, but at the same time, it feels like a, a dirty, kind of filthy sort of thing. Just like a, well, I don't know about how many people actually want to listen to this. <laughs> so I've always been like this, I did on that. But it's like so fun to me, just because um, if you know the publishers and how it correlates to that, it's just like, yep, 
That's my experience. But it's mechas. Mm hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to consider doing like a video on that on its own. But I'm getting like way off topic. This is also a bit like a site catch up thing. So sorry if you're just expecting just the GeoGuessr. But, um, yeah, you're not to require to watch that. Thank you so much for watching. This is a Blue Astrosome Solstice, and you have yourselves a great day. Bye bye.